Well, yesterday, Claudia Coffey got the chance to learn about a stunning new report on the American energy industry and what we're doing to help not only be a leader in world's energy production, but also how we're continuing to lower our impact on the environment. Take a look. You may not realize it, but natural gas and oil touches almost every facet of our lives, from heating our homes to fueling our cars to life-saving medical devices and the cosmetics that we buy at stores. The new State of the American Energy Report was recently released, and joining us to talk about the results is Mike Summers. He's from the American Petroleum Institute. Great to have you, Mike. Great to be with you, Claudia. Well, Mike, just jump into it. Tell us about this new report and what it found. So we put out a report uh, called the State of American Energy every single year. And this year's report is really about American energy leadership. So from uh, if you look at the statistics, the United States is now the number one producer of natural gas, the number one producer of oil. And by the way, we are also the number one uh, country in the world in terms of emission reductions. So while while production continues to increase in the United States, we're also continuing to reduce emissions and our environmental performance continues to increase. You know, you talk about production. What do you think that that means kind of on the horizon for uh, jobs like here in our community and, and elsewhere around the U.S.? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the oil and natural gas industry in the United States supports 10.9 million American jobs. That's obviously a significant portion of the American economy. And as everyone that's, that's watching this show knows, uh, energy touches every aspect of your life, from heating your home to uh, the cosmetics that you use. Uh, petroleum is in just about everything uh, that, that touches our lives. So it's a key component of the American economy, and uh, we're focused on making sure that the production continues to meet American demand, which is only increasing. You know, let's talk about uh, climate change, global warming. So many people are talking about this. It's a really uh, topical discussion right now. What do you see the industry doing to be global leaders in this matter? Well, this industry recognizes that, that the risks of climate change are very real and that man is contributing to a changing climate. And we're trying to do our part to address this key issue that is so important to American consumers and voters. So, as I said, our environmental performance over the last many years has been very positive as emissions continue to go down. Every statistic show that. We, had, again, we lead the world in our emissions reduction, but we also know that we need to do more. So we're working with legislators and government officials now to get uh, legislation enacted that will help us capture more carbon out of the atmosphere that is emitted. We're also working as an industry to make sure that fewer uh, of these molecules actually enter the environment to begin with. So we have many programs within the American Petroleum Institute that are focused on environmental performance and this industry knows it plays a role and knows it needs to take leadership. And where can people go maybe to read the report or to find out more information? If you'd like to learn more, go to api.org, api.org. I know a lot of people will be very interested in this and also wanting to know more about what U.S. energy leadership means for U.S. consumers. What could you tell them about that? Well, U.S. consumers uh, uh, really do benefit. I mean, if you think about what we're watching on the news today, uh, some of the volatility going on in, in the Middle East right now. They're, of course, a huge oil producer. Thank you for taking the time with us. To learn more about the American Petroleum Institute, visit API.org. We'll be right back with more Great Day Live.